I'll ask it this way. George is the standard in the, in the division, obviously, uh, to a certain extent in the conference and arguably in the nation at this point. So you got Georgia. You also have Clemson. Well, the Georgia game is more important because it's in conference if you want to get technical about it. But rivalries run deep, of course, mm-hmm. and Clemson's won that game going back to 2014. Mm-hmm. I give you one win against those two. Who do you take? You know, Mark, it's so funny that you mentioned this because we actually talked about this last night at my show I do every week at Tin Roof in Columbia. The Georgia win would be massive because of, like you said, the SEC implications. And I could argue if you're good enough to beat Georgia, you're going to be good enough to beat Clemson either way. But if I have to pick one, right, if I have to pick one, most years I would say Georgia. Mark, this fan base just so desperately needs a win over Clemson. Like, a win over Clemson would would solve a lot of our problems and would calm a lot of our nerves, right? It, it just – and I look at almost like the streak, too. Like, you beat Georgia in 2019. There isn't some long, daunting yep. streak. They're, they're the defending national champs. Nobody is going to is going to look down upon you for losing to Georgia. You lose to Clemson for an eighth straight year? That's ugly. That's an ugly streak. And again, I just think for the overall health and the sanity of this fan base, man, a win over Clemson would do a lot of good for a lot of people in this state of South Carolina and for those that wear the garnet and black. I mean, as you know, man, again, rivalries run very, very deep. They run very deep. And, again, it takes a toll on Gamecock fans having to stare that streak right in the face. So, most years I'd say Georgia, but I just – I think this fan base desperately needs a win over Clemson. The games have not even been close over the past seven years. So, getting a – I mean, just even making it a competitive game, I can't believe I'm saying that. But just getting to the point where the game is competitive, we need to get back to that. But if you can take down the Tigers – I just think that does a world of good for the program, for Shane Beamer, for all parties involved, the fan base as a whole. Man, would do wonders for Carolina fans. So I'm going to say Clemson. I'm going to say Clemson. I think especially early on, listen, you're not winning the SEC in year two. You're not winning the SEC East. Even if you beat Georgia, Mark, I don't think you win the SEC East. I think it's it's a nice upset. You might go nine and three. You're not winning the East overall. If you could beat Clemson in year two, Oh, man, it would be sweet. I, I'm getting chills just thinking about it, Mark. So give me a win over Clemson in year two of Beamer. Yeah, give me a win over Clemson. Yeah, because as you well know, you're talking about the uh, the message boards. Mm-hmm. Unless Clemson loses to South Carolina but still have one of their Clemson kind of seasons 2015 to 2020 type where they still go to the playoff, go to a national championship game, that sort of thing, and that's just a blip. Not to South Carolina fans, it wouldn't be. But let's say it's reasonable. Let's say even if South Carolina only goes seven and five and Clemson goes 10 and two, but South Carolina wins that game, you know, any South Carolina fan, all they have to do is say on a message board, shut up. We won the game. You can't yeah. say anything. Right. You're- and you talk and you talk about recruiting, man. You talk about changing narratives and recruiting yeah. in this state. That's a big one. That's a really, really big one. 